Working in mixed lighting can be quite difficult. You might be dealing with a room with fluorescent light, but with a big window, so sunlight's coming in. Or you might be using fill flash in daylight. None of your camera's white balance settings are quite right. What do you do? I'm going to cover mixed white balance where one of the lighting sources is flash in part two. In this video, though, I'll talk to you about the other situations. Unfortunately, there's no one magic answer for this. It will all depend upon your particular situation. Which lighting sources, how much of each. Never fear, though, I have some tips for you. Take shots using both settings and see which looks better. If you have the time, you can often fine tune the white balance settings in your camera. You may be able to find a balance between the two. Check your camera's manual to find out where you can do your fine tuning. If you don't like how either setting looks, or if you don't have the time to fine tune or to experiment, shoot in RAW. You will have the maximum amount of flexibility in adjusting the color temperature in post-processing. Or you could go with it. Consider that in some situations, it might be cool to leave it alone. A situation that I particularly like this idea is in concert photography. I feel like you have an opportunity to show the environment's actual look and feel. I mean, the lighting folks worked hard to get that look, and often they worked with the band as well. So don't discount portraying the situation as it actually was, even if the singer's face looks purple while the drummer is lit up in yellow. In part two of this video, I'll talk about what to do when your mixed lighting involves flash.